This is a star brake and we're going to repair it with the Ultrabond Classic Crackmaster tool and we're going to show you alternative methods to fill up stone brakes. Sometimes when you're fixing a stone brake and it doesn't fill you have other methods that you use to fill it. So let's get started. The Ultrabond Crackmaster tool is always ready to go. As you can see the tool all you do is pull the cap off bring the resin to the bottom of the o-ring and you're ready to go there's no prepping or getting ready with an ultra bond the tool is always in the ready mode okay now we're going to push the two suction cups down then the leveling bolt you want to tilt the uh, the injector front forward and then turn your cylinder then you turn your cylinder and level off the tool Okay, now he's pulling a vacuum. Okay, then it's going on pressure. Okay, and then you can increase your pressure by turning your cylinder and your leveling bolt. This puts more pressure on the resin and flexes the brake open. Let's show that, show that again one more time turn your cylinder and your bolt and that increases the pressure on the resin and pushes down on the glass and flexes open the brake now as you can see the legs these little cracks we of a star brake are called legs you can see them they're all about halfway filled now you're going to move around and check the profile of each leg you always look at the profile to see if it's fixing I mean, see if it's filling, pardon me. Uh, it'll be black from the profile. And you got to move around and look at each leg from the profile. The head on angle is always visible. You cannot tell if the, if the cracks are filling when you're looking at the head on angle. You always observe the profile. Now, we want to show you alternative methods to filling legs. One of them we can use when the, when the windshield is cold. Do not do this on a hot windshield. And one of them is it's called manual pressure pushing. Now we're going to push down. And what this does is it puts more pressure on the resin and flexes open the brake. And you'll see when he lifts up, the resin has gone further up the tips. Now another tool that we have when we have a stubborn leg leg that won't fill is called uh, the star leg flexor. And we're going to mount this, let's say mount it on one of those cracks that aren't filling. And the way this tool works is, is instead of you using a probe to flex the leg with your hand, this tool does it for you. You turn the leveling bolt to increase the pressure, and you can see the leg that it's on. It's flexing the leg, okay, because the legs of the stone brake are unsurfaced, and glass brakes on the opposite side of impact, and these this brake is on the back side of the outer light against the PVB. So to flex them open, you push down on the outer light. And as you can see, this holds the pressure, flexes open the crack, and the leg fills up. As you can see, the leg is almost completely filled. And there it is. Now you can take that tool off, or if you have other legs to do, you can slide it around and go to another leg. Let's go over to... Let's see, they're, well, they're all filled except for that one. Let's show manual flexing with a probe on this leg right here, Alex. This is your other method of flexing, the old-fashioned way. Uh, and that is with your hand, you do the same thing the star leg flexor did, except you're doing it with your hand. And again, you're flexing it open, so the resin, which is under pressure, pressure will go up the crack. And when you let go, go ahead and let go, you'll see the resin will scoot towards the tip. And that's because the resin is under pressure and it cannot go backwards. So let's flex that one one more time. 
and it's flexible. Move it out in the middle there. You can you can move it out in the middle. Over filling the crack is what you're doing here, and then let go, and you can see the resin all scooted to the tip. Now we're going to look around, check all of these legs, and it appears that all of these legs are filled. It's now time to cure. Okay, rule of thumb in windshield repair is to cure under pressure. The reason you cure under pressure is uh, windshield repair resins are low viscosity and one of the characteristics of low viscosity is that they shrink when, they're, when they cure. And to compensate for that shrinkage, uh, the rule of thumb in adhesives is to overfill and you overfill by leaving it in the pressure mode. Uh, leaving it in the pressure mode will also cause the monitors, mom, the monomers to combine into polymers. Uh, resin is made up of monomers and polymers. Those are the molecules. The uh, stone damage resins are mostly monomer. But however, it is polymer which is which gives you strength and durability. That's the large molecule. And when you cure under pressure, though, instead of the uh, monomers just cross-linking onto other monomers, they will combine into polymers, and then you'll have a, a stronger, more durable repair. We recommend curing uh, our resins uh, un uh, for two minutes under pressure. We have uh, multiple UV curing lights. We have them uh, from six inches to up to, to 12 inches, up to 15 inches. We also have a UV uh, curing flashlight uh, for chip repairs. Most of our customers have longer lights because they also fix cracks. Long crack repair will double your income and will put you in the repair versus replacement market. A crack is not preventive maintenance. A crack is repair versus replacement. When a consumer has a cracked windshield, uh, they, have the, they have the choice of a $90 to $100 crack repair or anywhere $250 to $350 replacement or even more.